Shabbat Shalom, everyone. It is wonderful to spend this Shabbat with you and to celebrate the 35th year of interfaith partnership that we share at Temple Bethel with our neighbors and friends at St. Joan of Arc Catholic Church. This wonderful weekend of interfaith partnership that dates back decades was the gift of Doris and Merwin Grossberg of blessed memory who through the work of the American Jewish Committee and my predecessor, Rabbi Merle Singer and Monsignor John McMahon forged an interfaith partnership in Boca Raton that was really the first interfaith partnership between houses of worship in our city. And that partnership led to the creation of the Boca Raton Interfaith Clergy Association and all of the wonderful interfaith partnerships that we are blessed to enjoy. So one must ask, how does one begin an interfaith partnership? How does that happen? Well, the first interfaith partnership that linked Catholics and Jews was one that took place more than 50 years ago, almost 60 years ago, between the famous rabbi Dr. Abraham Joshua Heschel and Pope Paul VI. During the time that the Vatican II Council was meeting, there was a document that was created called Nostra Tate, which tried to redefine how the Catholic Church would interact with all of the different religious traditions of the world, including the Jewish people. And so in order to understand what it was that the Jewish community needed from the Catholic Church, in order to forge bonds of understanding and a new sense of reunion and familiarity, the Catholic Church through Cardinal Bay reached out to Rabbi Heschel in New York, where a memo was drafted that talked about how it would be possible for the Jewish people and the Catholic Church to build bonds of collaboration and cooperation and understanding. Eventually, Rabbi Heschel traveled to Rome to talk about the need that the Jewish people had for the Catholic Church to recognize us as Jews who follow our own path and our own tradition not because we believe it to be more right or less right than that of Catholic tradition, but because it is our truth that we follow. And there was a lot of discussion in the church as to whether they should hold on to the idea, the hope that Jews will one day all convert to Christianity, to join the Catholic church. And what Rabbi Heschel said in an extraordinary moment to the Pope is he said, as I have repeatedly stated to leading personalities of the Vatican and now to you, I am ready to go to Auschwitz at any time if faced with the alternative of conversion or death. And it has been said that after Heschel met with Pope Paul VI, that line in the text that still hoped for Jews to convert was crossed out by the Pope's own pen. Because what happens when we engage in interfaith dialogue is we don't simply understand each other's truths. We understand our shared humanity. For so long and for too many times in history, in ancient times, in medieval times, modern times and contemporary times, we have linked the idea that if someone holds on to a truth that is not ours, then they are somehow less human than we somehow less deserving of care or approbation, somehow less deserving of respect or even a sense of life itself. We see how those discords, such violence, such horror, such scars on the history of humanity. But when we have had moments in our people's history where we have let go of our prejudices, we have let go of our preconceived sense of monopoly of the truth, and open our hearts and our minds with curiosity about the other, trying to understand why does that human being who was also created in God's own image think differently than I do, believe differently than I do? How do they understand their path to God? And what can I learn about mine by trying to understand how someone else treads their path? And how can they learn about how they live from trying to understand me? Because the fact is that in the book of Leviticus, in understanding holiness, God teaches us, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You shall try to make the experience of that other person who lives near you, who may be like you or not like you, so 
can love them and understand them and create a sense of unity, not uniformity, but a sense of oneness that can link our lives together. Because when we take that sense of uniqueness in each and every individual human being and bring together those differences in a sense of oneness, it is then and only then that we can really find our way to be one with our God who is also one. And so we are blessed this Shabbat to have Rabbi Dr. Joshua Garraway from the Hebrew Union College, from whom we had such a joy to learn last night uh, and whom we will have a chance to learn with also this evening and at Mass uh, 1215 on Sunday. And we look forward to a wonderful weekend. It is my pleasure to now uh, have a chance to have my good friend and colleague, and Senior Michael McGraw from St. Joan of Our Catholic Church to offer greetings from their community. I am pleased to, uh, on behalf of St. Joan of Our Catholic Church, to uh, recommit ourselves and to be so thrilled about our Shabbat and our interfaith uh, collaboration that has been going on, I believe, for about 35 years. So we are celebrating something that has a long history of interfaith collaboration and learning between uh, Temple Bethel and St. Joan of Arc. And I'm happy to uh, acknowledge the invitation and the presence of Rabbi Joshua Garraway, uh, who has such a distinguished history in interfaith and relationships with uh, Christianity. Um, some of the evening services uh, especially interfaith Shabbat, what can Jews learn from Catholicism? Uh, what can Catholics learn from Judaism? Uh, certainly we can learn a lot as we have in the past from each other and really be enriched by this unique uh, partnership between St. Joan of Arc and Temple Bethel. So on behalf of uh, St. Joan of Arc and our people, we want to welcome Rabbi Garraway, and look forward to what he can share with us um, about the relationship between Christianity and Judaism. So please, uh, I ask all of the St. Joan of Arc parishioners to uh, consider their participation in this and to thank uh, all of our brothers and sisters at Temple Bethel. Um, this again will be a wonderful example of how Christians and Jews can work together and grow together and spiritually benefit from each other's presence. And it's kind of a unique situation that we're right across the street from each other. So we, we see each other every day and it is a most uh, blessed uh, collaboration between the temple and our church. So God bless and keep all of you in this wonderful event, which comes every year and this year, uh, we look forward to it with great enthusiasm. Thank you. We're grateful for the support of Monsignor McGraw and his community. And for those from St. Joan who are sharing our worship this evening, welcome. And we all look forward to our next year's Interfaith Weekend when we can be together in person in our sanctuary, in yours. Uh, and we can physically be across the street from each other and not just virtually.